Hey there guys, uh, morning. Uh, it's Glenn, back again with another video here from Ion Silver. And uh, in today's video is another gear review. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on this garment that I'm wearing, which is the Anorak from Weatherwool. So uh, I'm just gonna take a few minutes to get uh, to find a good place to film and set up, and we'll get started. Now, uh, before we actually get started, I want to show you something that's actually pretty cool. It's uh, this pond right here. Normally, uh, when I come here, uh, this pond usually isn't frozen over like it is now. Um, yeah, I'm at the uh, Nature Trail at the Kent County YMCA. This is where I usually uh, I like to come to film or to hike. Um, I do hike at other places as well. Um, but this is gonna this is starting to become some of my uh one of my favorite places to do my hiking uh it's uh, it's close to where i live and uh, i've been doing it so many times that i'm actually really familiar with usually if i want to hike by myself this is usually where i'll go or um i'll go to city park that's actually where you saw me film my uh my last video which was what which was about uh the blackbird sk5 so uh enough of all that good jazz Let's get into the video. Yeah, this uh, this looks like a pretty good good place to do my review. All right, guys. Um, also, uh, so I'm in this little uh, gazebo type of thing, and uh, the pond that I just showed you is right in front of me. It's right over there. Uh, now, before I actually get into talking about this anorak, I actually want to show you guys something else that I'm kind of working on, and that's um. I like to call this my bushcraft belt or bush belt, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's something I'm still kind of working on. I, it's uh, So far, it's working really, really good. I just have to tweak a few things. So the first thing is it's a D-ring belt from, uh, from uh, I actually, I got it from a uh, from Savers. It's a, a thrift store that's here in Rhode Island. I also have this leather pouch from Topps Knives. And in there, I don't really have anything in there. It's just a live fire. It's all I really have in there. And uh, I'm actually gonna say it's uh, kind of smaller in person. I, I actually kind of thought it would be bigger. Next thing I also have is my Blackbird SK5. Never go out into the woods without it pretty much. Uh, as of you guys as you guys know, this is actually this is absolutely one of my favorite knives to use. And another thing I also picked up recently is uh, this hatchet from Grand Forest Brooks. Uh, I haven't been trying this out for very long. For very long, I've been I've had it now for I think um, almost a month. Uh, so far, it's a really really good hatchet. I still gotta uh, I'm still kind of testing it out, and I also want to make a few changes to it. But so far, this is a really 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 nice hatchet. Grand Forest Brooks is a company that I've kind of had my eye on for quite some time, and also to to make it so I can attach it to my belt, I also got this. Um, this uh, hatchet holder which fits very very it actually fits kind of loose which is actually good just because I like it flexible when like I'm moving around in the woods so anyway I'm actually gonna take this so, off. so this right here is uh, is an anorak made by weather wool and it was designed by uh, a guy named Ralph I don't know his last name but uh, uh, it's actually an American made product which is really, really nice. I actually kind of like how they're starting to make a lot of the really cool, like good survival equipment in in, in the United States of America. Um, so uh, enough about enough said about that. So, oh, by the way, one thing I actually forgot to mention. Sorry if you hear some, uh, some noise out in the background. There's some guys running around in the parking lot across the way. And I, I don't know if it's really distracting for you, but I know it's definitely very distracting for me. That's for sure. Okay. Anyway, getting off uh, getting off topic. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the outer stuff of the uh, of the anorak. So, and then uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna kind of show you guys some of the internal features of this particular garment. So uh, one of my I just want to talk about one of my favorite features of this, and that is the hood. This is a really big hood. It's also adjustable. I don't know if you can see the strap right there, which is really, really nice. And I actually got to say, this is the most comfortable hood I've had on any type of garment by far. Um, and that includes some of the stuff I've gotten from Frog Togs. That also includes some of the things 
that uh, you know I've gotten from other companies as well. Yeah, it's adjustable, so you can kind of cinch it down to whatever you want. Um, the only thing though is while you're wearing it, this thing kind of sticks out and almost kind of looks like a little tail, which is not that really that big of a deal. Also, I wanna say something else too before I go any further. This thing is not cheap. It's uh, it was six hundred dollars. Yeah, so. Um, those of you who are very, very price sensitive, you might just want to turn off the video and go watch something else. But yeah, if you are going to pick one of these up, it is going to cost you a pretty penny. This isn't cheap. Um, also too, uh, also I'm going to say too, it's kind of worth it in my opinion. I actually know it took me about six years for me to convince myself to actually buy this. The first time I saw this was, um, on an Instagram, uh, on an Instagram page that I follow. It's called, uh, I think um scablin's bushcraft i think that's his name and i saw him wearing one of these like in really really cold temperatures and i'm just like there's no way that that's gonna keep you warm and i'm actually here to tell you from experience i was dead wrong um you do have to kind of layer up underneath it especially if it's really really cold outside i know um right now it's about i think somewhere somewhere in the 20s the high for today is only going to be about 30 degrees. Um, but so far, I'm not really happy. So far, so good. I'm not having any issues. So it's also got four ch four buttons right here at the chest. And uh, these are actually really, really good quality buttons. And what I actually like about this too is you could unbutton it. And then you can rebutton it. Yeah, I'm doing this with my hand behind my back, guys. You can actually do this with one hand, which is something that that's <laughs> that's really friggin' awesome. Also, on the on the on the pouch right here, I, I'm actually gonna call it a kangaroo pouch. It's also got two buttons as well that you can also button with one hand. And on the inside, um, so in order, so um, instead of trying to kind of describe a whole bunch of things to you and try to make you kind of imagine what the inside of this garment is like, I thought I'd take it off and um, and kind of show. I th yeah, I thought I'd take it take it completely off and turn it inside out and actually kind of show you all the internal features of this particular garment. So right here where the kit where the kangaroo pouch is there's this pocket right here where you can keep things that you want to kind of keep hidden like your wallet or something like that and it's a pretty good sized pocket it's american made also another thing i don't know if you guys can see that 2x um i'm usually in between like a large and an extra large um with this particular garment i decided to go a size up just so i can kind of layer up underneath it um which is good because this thing's very, very breathable. Um, I wouldn't really call this a four season garment. I know some reviews I've seen, some people call this a four season garment. Me personally, this is more like a three season garment, depending on where you live. I know here in Rhode Island, especially in the summertime, it usually gets rather, uh, rather humid, especially in the summertime. And this is not something I would probably be wearing, if, especially if it's going to be really, really humid outside. Also, too, um, I also want to talk about these two breast pockets up at the top. These things are really, really big, as you can see. And um, this one right here, if you were to put this on, this pocket is going to be on the left side of your body. And this is actually two pockets in one. It's got one large pocket. And right here where these seams are, this is one small pocket. This is something that you can use for things like you that you want to get really quick and easy access to. Um, in here, I also I have my the key for my car, which is great. I can just reach in and, and grab it. And unfortunately, I'm actually going to say uh, this pocket, unfortunately, does not do that. Also, too, I'm going to try to show you guys this next part. I don't know if you guys can see the inside of here. Um, yeah, 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 I can actually pull this out and actually show you guys this. So this right here is kind of like a rivet. It's got three of them in here that are really, really big. 
I don't really use those too often. Um, and yeah, yeah, like they're in there. I don't really use them that often. And uh, I'm gonna be honest and say, I don't really think these are necessary unless you, I don't know, want, unless you're putting something in the kangaroo pouch that you really don't want to lose. I say that that's perfectly okay. Uh, I also want to kind of show you guys something that's on the back of the garment. Or anorak, I should say. So it's also got these straps right here that you can use to kind of pull it closer to you. And as you can see, I've kind of done that already. And uh, also too, it's got two side zips. Uh, if I can show you. It's got two side zips right over here. There's one on this side and one on this side. And this is how I usually take this off is I uh, zip up these two sides. I take it off. Um, another thing you can also do too, if let's say you're doing a lot, you're moving around quite a bit and you're doing a lot of sweating, which is one of the reasons why I decided to pick this garment over something, let's say like a, um, like a Lester River Boreal shirt or something like that. One of the things you can do with this that I think is super, super cool is you can take this rivet, unbutton that, attach it to right here. And not only will this give you breathability, but, come on. Not only will this thing give you a lot of breathability, but it'll also stay together and you don't have to worry about these flopping around in the wind and getting all, all wild and crazy. So the story behind Weatherwool is it's, I mean, it's obviously an American made product. Sorry, had to adjust my camera a little bit. It's an American made product, but it's got quite a, it's got quite a bit of a, a story behind it. Um, I know when I watched a few videos about this particular garment on YouTube, um, Ralph from Weatherwall designed it himself and it actually, he actually had to design it from scratch. Uh, it actually took him about three years or so for them to select the type of fabric that they were, go that they were going to use for the garment. And, um, I actually, uh, also too, another thing I also want to talk about too, the customer service is insanely good. So, um, if you, uh, say that there's a number that they give you on their website, if you give Ralph a call, he'll actually be the one that answers the phone. He doesn't hire anybody else to do it for him. As far as I know, I've only called him once. Um, and, uh, there's also two types of, um, of, a. Uh, I, I, I can't even really think of the white, the right word. So there's, there's a couple of um, different kinds of weaves of this particular fabric. There's mid-weight dark and full-weight dark. Um, there's a whole bunch of other information on their website. I'll have links down below in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But basically, uh, in a nutshell, what the difference is between the mid-weight dark and the full-weight dark uh, the full weight is just a little bit heavier. It's a little tighter weave of a fabric. Mid weight is a little bit loose. So those of you got, and which means it'll be a lot more breathable and comfortable. So those of you guys who, uh, who move around a lot in the woods and you sweat a lot, I would recommend going with the mid weight darb. Um, but those of you who don't really sweat that often and maybe kind of get a little cold very, very easily, I would say go with the full weight darb. Um, uh, also too, the, uh, the wrists are also adjustable as well. And this is what I, that's actually what I like. So yeah, it's got three straps right there. It's also on the other side. I'm not going to unbutton it. So, so, uh, also too, when you get this, it actually comes with a few different things. Unfortunately, I forgot them at my house, so I can't show them to you. Um, so it comes with a few different things. So the first thing it comes with, it comes with a complimentary bore brush with some instructions on how to use it. It also comes with a picture that you can also find on their website of what each thread of the fabric contains and what it consists of. And it also comes with uh, their three business cards that you can pass out to you know different friends and different family. And another thing that it also comes with is different samples of what the different colors of each of their fabrics look like.
So, um, so yeah. So, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and until next time, guys, stay ready, stay focused, stay strong.